Are you thinking about making an apron for your next project? Do you want it fashionable and vintage style? Then this video is for you. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Arsenia Creates. On this video, I am going to show you how I made this lovely vintage style apron. I used the pattern from Simplicity 3949 version B for the adult. And before we start, please don't forget to subscribe on my channel, Arsenia Creates, for more crafting and sewing. For the materials, we'll use a woven fabric. Refer at the back of the pattern envelope to know how much fabric you'll need according to your size measurements. We'll also need two packs of medium rig rack, a matching thread, and of course, the Simplicity 3949 sewing pattern that we are going to follow on this video. I don't cut my sewing patterns and only trace them using tracing papers. If you're doing the same, make sure that you will transfer all the markings as well on every pattern. On one of your pocket pieces, pin your rig rack following the 5-8 inch or 1.5 cm seam allowance. Starting from the inner corner at the upper edge of your pocket, stitch along the center of rig rack. The end should meet where you have started. With the right sides together, pin facing to pocket evenly. Make sure to leave a mark for the opening so that you can avoid sewing through it. Follow the 5-8 inch or 1.5 cm seam allowance and stitch your pieces together making sure to leave an opening at the side edge to turn. Again, make sure you leave an opening for you to turn your pocket right side out. But before you do that, you need to trim your seams, leaving at least a quarter of an inch. And then, trim your corners according to the sewing direction page that you can find on the instruction sheets of your sewing pattern. And lastly, clip the curves of your pockets.
Turn the pockets right side out, making sure the curves and corners are properly turned before pressing. Fold in the fabric of the opening while pressing. On the outside, pin pockets to apron matching the large dots. Again, make sure that the fabric of the opening is folded in. Also, both pockets should be on the same level of the apron. Stitch close to side and lower edges of pocket below large dots. And don't forget to backstitch to reinforce ends. For the waistband, press under 5 8 inch or 1.5 cm on the unnotched edge. Going on the apron, hem the lower edge. Following the instructions on the sewing directions page, Press under a quarter of an inch or 6 mm on raw edge first. Then fold to another inch and stitch close to inner pressed edge. To narrow hem side edges of apron, press under the amount of hem allowance as indicated on tissue pattern, and that is a quarter of an inch or six millimeter. To form hem, Tuck under raw edge to meet crease, then press. Stitch hem close to inner pressed edge. Together, stitch along seam line which is 5 8 inch or 1.5 centimeters and for the second line, a quarter of an inch or 6 millimeters inside seam line, using a long machine stitch without back stitching. With the right sides together, pin apron to waistband. Match the center, notches and small dots. Pull up gathering stitches to fit, distributing fullness evenly. K 
carefully stitch seam. Make sure that the gathering is still distributed evenly while stitching. Press band out, pressing seam toward band. By this time, the waistband is already attached to the apron. For the neck strap, fold it in half lengthwise with the right sides together. Using a 5 8 inch or 1.5 centimeters seam allowance, stitch it, leaving the end with small and large dots open. Trim seam and corners. Turn neck strap right side out, then press. On outside, pin straps to one bib section matching small and large dots. Face through all thickness. Now, your neck strap is already attached to one bib section. Similar to the pocket's procedure, on the outside, pin center of free crack along seam line on outer edge of one bib section, starting and ending at inner corner. Then, stitch along the center of free crack. With the right sides together, stitch bib sections together, leaving an opening at one side edge and being careful not to catch in the free ends of straps when stitching. Carefully put the straps in the bib and trim seam. Also, trim corners and clip curves, which I somehow forgot to show on this clip. Turn bib right side out and give a good press.
folding the opening while pressing. Then close it with a slip stitch. Similar procedure as the neck strap, fold each tie end in half lengthwise with right sides together. And using 5 8 inch or 1.5 cm seam allowance, stitch together leaving ends with small and large dots open. Once stitched, trim seam and corners. Turn tie ends right side out, then press. On the outside, pin tie ends to band matching small and large dots, having raw edges even. then baste. Fold band with right sides together while placing the tie inside. Then stitch across ends. This might be confusing at first, but as you can see, the tie is inside the band. Once stitched, trim seam and corners. Turn band to inside, then press. While pressing, make sure that the ties are out. Now, slip stitch the pressed edge of band over seam, making sure that the centers are matched. On the outside, pin lower pointed end of bib over the waistband and apron, matching centers and large dots. Baste, then stitch in place close to edge of bib. As you can see, I also top stitched my bib closest to the edge. It is not on the instructions, but I think it makes it look neater with top stitching. And that's how you make a heart apron using the pattern from Simplicity 3949. If you're a beginner and you wanted to make this project, I hope this video would help. 
it is easy to do, but a bit tricky if you're a total beginner. And if you like this video, please don't forget to click thumbs up and subscribe on Arsenia Creates for more crafting and sewing. See you next time.